Yeah, Russia. You know, I mean, we, we've been talking Russia for a long it's, time it's, now. It's tiring. You, you, you're because getting it, bored They're just now. dragging. I'm, I'm getting bored, actually, because yeah. they're still dragging their feet. Just do it and, you know, make the necessary adjustment you need to make and what will be proud ah, of you guys. I mean. And before you know it, all the ban and everything, they'll be reinstated and all that, so the issues will finally just go down. But I think they said they're actually dragging and trying to, I mean, you know, make the reforms they're actually asking them to do. That's the, that's the word, they're dragging, they're lagging behind. I mean, since 2015, when they were initially suspended, I mean, when 2017 20, now, March 20. the 14th, and we're still on this particular situation, and they know what they have to do, uh, obviously, um, because um, WADA, that's the World Anti-Doping Agency, uh, they have given them all the guidelines that they have to follow uh, so that it can be reinstated, you know, back into the... Um, um, athletics and sporting, uh, international sporting community. And um, Craig Reddy has been speaking basically on, he's been giving an update on, you know, the current situation with Russia and why um, they still haven't been readmitted into the sporting uh, community. Let's listen to Sir Craig Reddy. He's the um, head of the World Anti-Doping Agency. We also continue the important ongoing work to restore the compliance of the Russian anti-doping agency, RUSADA. Whilst RUSADA has made some progress, there remains significant work still to do. RUSADA must, above all, demonstrate that its processes are truly autonomous and independent from outside interference. The anti-doping authorities are now paying special attention uh, to the Russian sports system and we are ready to cooperate. We are open for all kinds of inspections of individual athletes and organizations, such as Rosada. Okay, yeah, the message, uh, Cecilia, from WADA is very, very clear. clear. To Russia, up the ante so that you can be readmitted into the international sporting community. Committee. I mean, all those anti-doping uh, reforms, they need to embrace them as quickly as possible. Remember, they will miss, um, Russia will miss the 2017 World uh, Championships, that's IWF World Championships already, that's too early for them, they will miss out on that one, and that's a massive, massive uh, loss for the country, uh, but they still have an opportunity, according to uh, Craig Reddy, uh, to make the 2018 um, winter, winter games. games, so they just need to hurry up, I mean, I, up I don't know say. why it's taking so long. I, I think maybe the requirement, you know, is actually difficult, you know, when, you, when you're having a country that allegedly more than about a thousand athletes, you know, involved in this yep. they were even mentioning some football players you know at, athletes wrestlers all of them like it cuts across board yes, it you know, so it's going to be hard for them to actually you know make everything clean and even when it's clean you know why that will keep picking holes and see because we heard the story of them having to mask you know using masking agents like coffee which is coffee and all that to actually uh, not allow the, the, the test, whatever the test they carry out to show, and also changing samples and all, all that. All sorts. And the fact that when some athletes are training in a military environment, they don't allow, you know, the, the, um, testers. the testers to actually go mm -hmm. in there and test these athletes, these random tests they carry out. And yeah. So when you still have those, uh, a kind of, uh, how do I put it, a kind of breaks in between, it's not smooth, they're not mm -hmm. having a smooth run, you know, having to do on the spot kind of testing, out of competition kind of testing with some of the athletes, they're still going to have the same issue until they just have to clear everything totally, yeah. that's when they can be readmitted. But exactly. we, the European body came up to say that they actually want Russia to be in, you know, when you have every country in, the, the competition is kind of fair, but when you're having some athletes saying already that, look, they've not been able to have a clean doping system, then it tells you a whole lot about most of these athletes. Huh?